Welcome back. Hopefully you did okay with the last challenge and you've got all the remaining parts of your scene well UV mapped and beautifully textured. If that's the case, then it means that you're now ready to start adding lights to your scene and to start thinking about our final render and how it's going to come together. In this step, we're going to add our first light, which is just going to be a directional light. And what that means is that you will get light that just flows in one direction throughout your entire scene. It's really good for mimicking something like sunlight or moonlight, which is what I'm going to be going for with my first attempt. The first thing I'm going to do then, before I add any lights to the scene, is I'm just going to click out here because I've still got this sky dome light that I added a long time ago just so that we could do some preview renders as we were putting things in. I want to get rid of that now because that's not going to be our main scene light, at least not whilst we're going through the different types of lights. Let's create this directional light then. So we're going to go up to create, into lights, and there you can see there is a directional light. So the first thing I want to do is just click on that and you will see that we get what looks like some arrows created at the origin of our scene. So I'm just going to move that up out of the ground and you can see that at the moment the arrows are pointing over here, kind of out of the room. Now that you've got a light in there, we're going to need to turn that on so that we can see what's happening. So up here, you can click on this icon which will turn on your lights, it's called Use All Lights. Or you can just press 7 on your keyboard, so 6 will turn your lights back off and 7 will turn them on. And now with my rotate tool, I'm going to rotate my light around. I want it to look like it's going to be shining through this window. And then we're going to have the angle come down a little bit. Yeah, that's a pretty nice angle. So that gets us started. What you can also do with lights is change the color of them. So over here in my attribute editor, if your attribute editor is not open, just keep pressing control and A until it pops up. There's a color swatch. We'll give that a click. And because I'm looking to mimic moonlight, I'm going to choose something in the blue spectrum to start. You can see that this is probably too blue. So then what I'll do is over here in this little square, I'm going to walk that towards white. So it's essentially white with a tinge of blue in it, something like that. That's how I'm going to get started. Something else that I want us to be able to preview in our viewport is where the shadows are going to fall. And up here, just next to where we turned lights on, there's an icon for that, which is just called shadows. If we give that a click, you can now see where the light's going to fall. And so that tells me where it will be a good idea to rotate the light. So I'm going to leave it roughly where it was, I think. One cool thing about shadows is it really does help to ground all of your objects in the scene. They now look more like they belong there because there are shadows around them. One last thing that I want to do then before we move on to the next step is just make sure that we've got shadows turned on. In the Arnold settings here, you just need to make sure that cast shadows is turned on. It should be anyway, but just double check. And that's gonna do it for this step then. You've now added your first light to your scene, and I'm sure it's looking beautiful. In the next step then, we're gonna set up a proper test render to make sure that our light appears in the rendered image in the way that we hope, because the viewport doesn't really give you a true reflection of how it's going to look. So I will see you in the next step for a bit of rendering. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.